Who was he trying to keep out or in? Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? There's no place like home, especially if it's haunted. In this next volume, I will be telling tales of homes that might have a few too many residents. These stories are all about old houses with sinister histories and spirits that just aren't ready to move out yet. For the first chapter, I will be telling you a story that my mother told me. When my mom was about 11 years old, her, her three siblings, and their parents moved to America from the Philippines. My grandma was friends with a woman named Francine, who lived in Hawaii with her husband, Decoy. She told them they could stay at their house until they got settled in. It was a fairly small house. There was one master bedroom where Francine and Decoy slept, one other bedroom where my mom's family stayed, and a living room area. My mom has many fond memories of living in that neighborhood, like learning how to ride a bike and playing by the nearby stream. But she also had many strange ones. For instance, Francine and Decoy owned the psychiatric institution that was right next door to the house. And my mom remembers seeing some of the patients running outside completely naked. Although surprising at first, her and her siblings got used to it, but none of them could explain away what happened on the night of Decoy's ex-wife's death anniversary. So Decoy was a Moncadista, a member of the Filipino Crusaders World Army, which was a cult started by the politician and mystic Hilario Camino Moncado. His followers believed that he was a prophet with supernatural powers. He claimed that he had the ability to heal the sick. You can always spot a Moncadista because of their long hair and beards, as it was against their beliefs to cut it. My mother remembers Decoy being very strong for his age, Perhaps that was due to the skeleton he kept underneath his bed, which according to the Moncadistas, the bones of the deceased would give you strength. I heard that the skeleton under his bed is his ex-wife, some people said. But my mom never saw the skeleton. Decoy kept the master bedroom locked at all times with a giant padlock on the outside. Who was he trying to keep out or in? One night, my grandparents were about to leave the kids in the house by themselves. It was the death anniversary of Decoy's ex-wife, and they were going to go to a celebration in her honor. The kids were a little scared to be left alone for the first time, and so Decoy's granddaughter left her little dog with them. Don't worry, he'll protect you, she said jokingly. So my grandparents drove away, and my mom and her siblings were left alone in the house. They were watching TV, when all of a sudden, a chill shot up my mom's spine. The TV went white and the power in the house went out. Then the dog ran over to the bedroom door and started barking and running around in circles. The door to the locked bedroom began shaking violently. Nothing else in the house was rattling and there were no windows open and no wind blowing. It looked like someone was trying to get out. It's Decoy's ex-wife. They screamed and ran out of the house right when their parents were pulling into the driveway. The kids were crying and trying to tell them what happened. Decoy's granddaughter tried to calm them down and went inside the house to get her dog. She didn't come back out for a few minutes, but when she did, she was in tears. I just saw my grandmother. If it was truly Decoy's ex-wife in that house that night, what did she want? What was she trying to say? If you have any theories, let me know in the comments. Thanks to my mom and my aunt for sharing this story with me. Like this video if it gave you the chills, and don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and check out our other videos. And if you dare to follow me, my links are in the description below. Until next time, sweet dreams.